Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish, and I'm doing a market review here today of the SPY. Haven't looked at the market seriously here for a few days, so let's just, at least not the SPY, let's just see where we're at here. We don't have to hold here in order to do the rally, but I think we will based on the level here of sport and also timing in the year here. We're not gonna break this. So I think a better level to hold is pretty much where we're at right here. We, we could have held here. That would have been crazy strong. And I said, when I looked at the QQQ chart, that we could have held that gap as well. We didn't have to. The fact that we gapped down here and broke the 200 per moving average, which is the red line, does not mean that we are lower in any long term or even short term, meaning if we're talking about a couple of days. I know we fell for the last two days, and you could have shorted the market in the last two days, although I would not have done that. But either way, we gapped down this morning and we held, and I called the market as a long today even though I don't buy gap downs, but I said the market's along today. And really the market could have held up here. We didn't, does it matter? No, it's just coming in slightly, which is not a big deal. And this is another level of support. That's the one thing about looking at charts. There are multiple levels of support and resistance in a chart. That's why I play gaps, because I'm taking the entry specifically for the reason of the trade, which is the strategy, and the strategy is the gap. Many people like to buy pullbacks into support as a strategy. But as you see here, actually, there's multiple levels of support in this chart. So how do you know which one to buy? How do you know which one will hold? See the difference? When you're doing gaps, you know which ones are gonna hold and you know which ones are not gonna hold, okay? For example, there was a gap down in the market today. This wasn't something that you would short for the long term. This was a gap down here. Again, no short for the long term. Same here in the last one. These are not quality gaps. But we did actually hold and rally today. We will hold green today into the close. And my call for tomorrow, probably in the gap tomorrow morning, we're probably going to gap neutral. I, I, don't, I don't see how, how any way we don't rally tomorrow. <clears throat> we, if we gap down tomorrow slightly, we'll rally. If we gap neutral, we'll rally. If we gap up, we'll rally. So look for a rally in the market to follow through tomorrow. Look for a follow through rally that could take us through the rest to the end of the month. Because I was thinking we could still make a new high before the end of November. So we could hold in here today and continue the rally. Today is only Monday. The next level will be over 215. Well, it's 213.78. Really, really, the next target's 215. So last high was 213.78, but really the target's 215 to get up over the high. So we'll see when, when we exactly do this. But this could spark a rally that could last for days here in this buy. So if you'd like to learn how to read overall trends, I do teach a class called the Trends class. The most important class I teach, though, is called the Golden Gap, which teaches what gaps are gaps you can actually short for profit and I teach a bullish gap class which teaches gaps that you can buy but overall here the market is holding extremely strong and it is a beautiful chart even still this is Melissa Armo with the stock swoosh if you'd like more information on the golden gap course email me at melissa at the the next class is November 21st and 22nd this weekend have a good day everyone